Okay, we're ready for the appetizer portion. Okay. So to start off with, what we're going to do, and I find these to be very delicate. These are herbed crepes okay. um, with smoked salmon and a lovely cream cheese mixture in between. Yum. And they're easy to make with the exception of the crepe part, but I'm gonna, I know there are people out there who are afraid of crepes. I know that you're one of them. One of them. Uh, trust me, this is really easy. We're gonna show you step by step. And just so you know, you always screw up your first crepe. It's just enough. a rule of thumb. I, I, that makes me feel better. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with all the minutia of every tablespoon and whatever. You should go to our website, www.greaterbostongalagirls.com, and you can download these in a printable that comes out on a page for you, both recipes. So, But to start with, let's do the crepes first. Okay. In a blender, you want to put a couple of eggs, two-thirds of a cup, I think, of uh, milk, a couple tablespoons of flour, and what the best part is of these babies is we take a little fresh herbs. So take some fresh dill, for example, which I absolutely adore. And I always use scissors with dill. I just feel like it's so much easier. Oh gosh, yeah, because yeah, chopping dill is a real pain. It sticks to everything. Ugh, oh, constantly, yes. So you just chop up a little bit of, uh, snip a couple of dill in there as much as your heart desires. I really enjoy dill, but I know that one of my Gala Girl sisters does not, so I'm going to refrain from going my normal amount. And then on top of that, what we also did is you can put some chives, or in this case I had scallions on hand, I figured why not. Yeah. Dump the bad boys in, and then you mix this all up on a blender. I mean seriously, how easy is this recipe? And then you, ha voila, you have this gorgeous looking crepe batter that has these flecks of green in it. It's so pretty. Very pretty. So then you refrigerate this for about an hour. Would you throw that in the fridge for me, Jen? Okay, so now we're going to make the crepe portion, which a lot of people get nervous about. All you have to think of is it's really just a really thin pancake, which I'm sure you've done. So you take your nice chilled batter and you're going to pour it into a nonstick pan with a little bit of butter in it. And you're not going to pour too much, probably about two teaspoons. And then the key is to swirl it so that it gets evenly distributed and gets that really nice thin quality. You put it back on the heat and you're going to have to move quickly with these so it's not something that you take a lot of time on. You take your spatula, run it around the edges just to loosen it and by the way the first crepe is usually the worst so we wind up throwing that one away anyways. You get better with time. Take your spatula, kind of get under it if you will, as if it were a pancake, and then flip. Once it's flipped, you can slide it back into place, and you have some beautiful, delicate little crepes. <laughs> now what you're going to do is when you have your finished crepes, they're beautiful, they're paper thin, they're perfect. What you're going to do, Jen, is you're going to put these down and assemble them for me. Okay. Put them down on a piece of paper, and over he on a plate rather, and then here we've got a little bit of whipped cream cheese, which is one of my favorite treats. Yum. Delish. I didn't know that there was such a thing. Yep. Every day. We're going to take a little bit of whipped cream cheese, I'm going to squirt a little bit of lemon juice in there, and then a little lemon zest, if you will. Okay. Zoop. And just a, not too much, just a little bit. The zest really gives you such a different lemon flavor other than just having the um, lemon juice itself. Yeah. So if you want to mix that together. Oh, it already smells spectacular. It does. It smells great. <laughs> so Jen's going to mix that together and put a really light, thin coating on top of one of the crepes. Okay. The whole thing? Just uh, just around the middle, leave a little bit on the outside. What we're going to do is roll these up and then we're going to slice them into pinwheels and they look really pretty on a platter. So while she's doing that, what I've also done is taken some radishes, chopped off a little bit of the outside of the radish so you can keep a little bit of the color on, and then diced them into little matchsticks like this. So little tiny matchsticks of of radishes, that's going to give you the crunch, which is delicious. Perfect. Okay. okay. Now we're going to put a few of the radishes down the middle. Okay. We're going to roll it up like a burrito, if that helps anyone. Mm, yeah. That's me. And then last but not least is our smoked salmon. You can spend a little, you can spend a lot, it's completely up to you, but you're going to take your smoked salmon and align this down the middle as well. Basically what I'm saying is you don't have to base, do uh, the most expensive salmon in the grocery store. Then we take this okay. and we roll it up, as I said, almost like a burrito, being a little careful because crepes are very, very delicate. And now that we have this, we're going to slice them into pinwheels. Okay. 
you like me? Yep, go right ahead. Should I start in the middle, work my way out? <laughs> sure, Here, start in the middle, work your way out. And we'll put them on the platter, and then you're done. Nice. Fabulous.